my friends, it's Cassie Zahersky, children's book author and illustrator. And today I am so excited to be reading a book to you called Our Moon Festival in honor of the Autumn Moon Festival. But before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to your right for more great books like this one. Our Moon Festival is a beautiful book all about different families and their diverse traditions as they observe Zhong Chao Jie, Tet Zhong Tu, and Tsukimi. In all three stories, we will learn about foods, traditions, dances, parades, and poetry involved in the celebration of the Moon Festival. I have the feeling that this book is going to make me so hungry. All right, shall we begin? Our Moon Festival, written by Yobi Q, illustrated by Christina Nell Lopez. Zhong Xiao Jie. Today is the Mid Autumn Festival. In Shanghai, we call it Zhong Chao Jie. This year, my cousin Mary is visiting from Singapore. Nai Nai is making mooncakes with lotus seeds, green bean paste, and salted eggs. They smell delicious! During the Mid Autumn Festival, we give mooncakes as gifts to represent our best wishes for peace, health, and happiness. My favorite part of the Mid Autumn Festival is the delicious dinner. I love the extra luck fish, soup dumplings, and roasted duck. We read riddles from paper lanterns. Then Ye Ye tells the story of how Cheng E, the goddess of the moon, took the elixir of life and flew up to live on the moon. It's time for mooncakes. Nai Nai brings out a plate fresh from the oven. When Mary eats the durian mooncake, Ye Ye pinches his nose. We laugh. <laughs> Not everyone likes the strong smell of durian. After dinner, Mary shows me the lantern she's brought from home. She says that many streets in Singapore are filled with glowing lanterns during the Mid-Autumn Festival. We walk together with our lanterns to Yew Garden, which has been covered in bright lights that dance across the water. Before we leave, I wave and say goodnight to the moon shining brilliantly above me. Sometimes I think I see Ching mm -hmm. waving back at me. Tet Chung Tu, Vietnamese Moon Festival. Today is Tet Chung Tu, one of my favorite holidays. It is a time to celebrate the full moon, the harvest, and the opportunity to be together. This year, I get to celebrate Tet Chung Tu with my family in Hanoi. Uncle Keith is preparing the altar. He says that we light incense to those who are no longer with us. Grandma also puts some mooncakes, flowers, and a glass of water on the altar. Don't forget the spirit money, Mom, reminds Uncle Keith. In the afternoon, Mom takes us to see a traditional water puppet show. Dad and I cannot understand the singer's words, but we are impressed by the puppeteer's skills. <gasps> we gasp when the fish jumps out of the water and baby phoenix appears from the egg. When the show ends, we walk around Hanoi Old Quarter. It is full of colorful lights, and everywhere we look, there are children jumping rope and playing with lanterns. We watch in amazement as the lion dancers and dragon parade come through the streets. At dinner, our whole family enjoys mooncakes and tea together. We open the window to admire the full moon. Tsukimi, Japanese Moon Festival. It is a time for quiet reflection to celebrate the harvest moon. We are all looking forward to the special foods that Grandpa made for tonight's solemn dinner. Mom puts the Suzuki plant in a vase by the door. Grandma says it will keep bad luck away. Tonight, we will each share something we are thankful for. And while Grandpa prepares the sake set for the adults, Mom asks me to set the table while she brings out the food. Everyone has a job on Tsukimi.
taking me. We will eat outside in our backyard so we can appreciate the full moon. Tonight, many families across Japan are enjoying Dango and Taro. Zucchini Dango are my favorite, especially the chestnut ones. The round shape of the sweet, soft rice dumpling resembles the full moon. On Tsukimi, our foods are offerings to the moon to bring about a good harvest for the next year. When we finish eating, I gaze at the moon to find the rabbit in the moon. Grandma reads a haiku poem about the moon. Grandma reads one about peacefulness during Tsukimi. We all admire the stillness of the moon tonight. The end. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our moon festival as much as I did. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to your right for more great stories like this one. Happy moon festival. I'll see you next time. Bye circle time friends. Circle time.